Hello and welcome to this Dawn Buster's Taste Challenge recorded edition. Here we are in this devastated area. I have two American brandies. Um, this is Delacour. Introduced in 1988, but the older one is from 1889, 99 years earlier, Corbell, California Cellars Brandy. This was founded, company was founded by Francis Corbell, an immigrant from what is today called the Czech Republic. All right, um, distilled in the Giorgio, California, and blended and bottled in Guerneville, California. All right, this was a $14.99 for the liter at Dorgnax. All right, one liter bottle, $14.99. got the rubberized cork. See that? And the Delacour was eleven ninety nine for the liter at Savannah Discount. I don't think it's going to be much of a challenge because uh, the Delacour tends to have an unusual sort of toffee and nougat, like in, I keep saying in a Three Musketeers bar. It's not a bad flavor, but it's a bit improper, you see, I think. can't do it live till we get electricity and internet connection back so I'm just sort of banking these logging them beers gonna have to wait the rum, the rum brandy whatever all of these are easier at room temperature of course don't have to chill them down some people do rather than chill but you can do them at room temperature and it, they're all right I usually drink uh, well I don't drink liquor, I taste liquor at room temperature. The only time I ever consume any kind of spirits is for a solo review or taste challenges, or a duo review if my friend David wants to review one. Getting a little wood in the nose, oak, which is making me think Corbell. Neither one of these is sold in this parish. Uh, they're not really that popular in Jefferson Parish, but that's where I found them. This Delacour on the West Bank and the Corbell on the East Bank. But they're not really common. You, around here, you, you're mostly going to see E and J. E and J, Paul Masson, and um, Christian Brothers. <coughs> and of course, Corabas. Well, some places have Corvassier and everybody has Hennessy, the French cognac brandy. Those two cognac brandies. And Martel, everybody pretty much going to have Martel. Yeah, cognac brandy. All right. Getting that little strangeness on the nose. So I, I think on aroma, this is Delacour. I'm getting that straight on aroma. It is Delacour. <laughs> They're both tan in appearance. Brandy is typically a brown liquor, although you can get some clear versions. Still, it's got that unusual toffee and uh, nougat taste. It's grape, grapes, distilled grape wine, but it's a little strange. Corbel, more standard. You're not going to find it's that different from an. E and J V S O P, E and J V S be a little rough and um, hot, but uh, this is smooth like a V S O P. But it's not rated or, or classed. It's just brandy. 
the Delacour is Napoleon Brandy BSOP, very smooth O O pale, which is typically aged four to six years, somewhere in that range, four to six years. Well, in this case, we're only talking about a three dollar difference of per liter. And definitely, the Corb Bell is the winner. A lot more standard flavor, normal or appropriate flavors. Um, easy going product. Delacour is not bad, but I wouldn't go above $13.99 for it, honestly. Uh, that would be my top price limit on that. Corbell, if you did $16.99 for the liter, I think you'd be doing fine. So, thank you for watching this not very challenging taste challenge. <clears throat> Delacour, I've gotten it right every time. Uh, and that's because of the flaws that it's displaying. Maybe it's not a flaw. It's there. It's unusual character. It might be intended to be this way, and, it, and some people like that strange flavor. But it, whatever, it's distinct, and you can't get it wrong. I don't think so. Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay. Thanks. We we'll hope the good times come back soon. Let's see. And I'm going to end this taste challenge by saying, y'all, do not come to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>